Let's take a look at the best play from offense and defense in week one. All 22, Makai Becton, Jermaine Johnson, let's go. What's going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are back in the film room with another All 22 breakdown and one of my favorite series, it's Plays of the Game. Spotlight is on one offensive and defensive play from Monday Night Football's victory against the Bills. And both of these, we're going to focus a little bit on scheme and coaching. Yes, there's absurd talent from Makai Becton and Jermaine Johnson, respectively, but it's about the X's and O's and the play design. We're going to start on offense, a concept that I love. It's pin pull. As you can see on the screen, we've got two crack blocks from Lazard and the short motion here from CJ Uzama. They're trying to trap people to the inside to cause congestion so we can get our lead blockers, Bowden and big ticket number 77, Makai Becton, out in space. I'll let it roll for you at full speed. I want you to look how the crack blocks do a nice job trapping the defensive end and then Makai Becton in space is an animal and it's an easy 11-yard pickup for Dalvin Cook. But this is the angle, guys. From left to right, you're going to see CJ Uzama does a nice job with Alan Lazard just trapping number 50, Shaq Lawson, to the inside. We're going to try and make sure we've got space for our lead blockers. And now get your eyes on number 77. Makai Becton, out in space, delivers a double stack pancake. This is what I'm talking about. It's the X's and O's meeting the Jimmys and Joes. That is absurd. What a block from the big ticket. This guy... Out in space is an animal. The Jets should be running right so often behind he and Elijah Vera Tucker. As I mentioned, I love pin pull. I think the Jets do an absurdly good job running outside tackle, and this was one hell of a rep. Makai Becton is one of, if not the best run blockers in space in the NFL. Now let's flip over to the defensive side of the ball. I loved this from Jeff Ulbrich. Against Josh Allen, typically you sit back, you play coverage, and you don't blitz. That's not what the Jets did. They brought some timely five-man rushes, and this is one of those. Focal points here are on number 30, Michael Carter, and then to the inside, the defensive end, Jermaine Johnson, number 11. This is beautiful play design. They bring this nickel blitz here with Michael Carter, but have a look at the nuance. The Jets know that Josh Allen wants to step up, so they bring a stunt, a TE stunt, with Jermaine Johnson looping back to the inside. Look how this play unfolds. Nickel blitz, Michael Carter, bang. Josh Allen steps up and Jermaine Johnson is there to eat him up. This is perfect team defense. This is great play design, and I thought it was a little wrinkle that I haven't seen from the Jets and haven't seen it a lot against Josh Allen. You can see number 30 here stresses the defensive line. They've got to be concerned with this little blitz. The tackle passes it off, and then Quinn and Williams on the lead of this stunt just eats up both the guard and the tackle. Everyone's worried about number 95, and Jermaine Johnson is there. Josh Allen is peaking. He's got great vision. He sees Michael Carter coming off the edge. I think he makes the right decision to step up, but Jeff Ulbrich one-ups him and Jermaine Johnson makes absurd contact in the hole. Great coaching, great execution from the Jets' defense. I love both of these two plays. So there you have it, guys. There's my plays of the game from Week 1's victory against the Buffalo Bills. You love seeing talented studs like Makai Becton and Jermaine Johnson make plays, but it would be a remiss of us not to shine the spotlight on Nathaniel Hackett and Jeff Ulbrich. 